Hi, my name is Austin. I'm with Turf Extractors, and today I'm going to show you how to vacuum down a fresh recovery cylinder straight from the manufacturer. These recovery cylinders come filled with nitrogen, so what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to uh, open up one of these valves, or both of them, um, and go ahead and purge the nitrogen out. So we're going to do that right now. All right, so now all the nitrogen is out of the system. So what we're going to do is we're going to make sure only one valve is open. And that one valve that's open, we're going to go ahead and hook up this vacuum hose. Now that the vacuum hose is hooked up, this valve is open, the other valve is closed. We're going to go ahead and turn on the vacuum pump. And you're going to want to leave this vacuum pump on for about 30 minutes. And in 30 minutes, we'll come back and check and see how this is doing. So you see that smoke coming out of the vacuum pump there. That is normal. Different vacuum pumps have it come out of different areas of the pump. Some of it come out of the handle, some of it come out of the top there. But that is normal. Uh, certain vacuum pumps support a filter or an attachment to plumb the smoke somewhere else. So nothing to be concerned about. That's normal. Um, after 30 minutes, you'll come back over here and you'll turn off this valve and then turn off your recovery pump. It's always important to remember to turn this valve off first before you turn off your recovery pump. That way you don't uh, aspirate a vacuum pump oil into your recovery cylinder because this is under a vacuum and it will pull the oil if this pump is not running. So after you've vacuumed everything out of the system, turn it off, disconnect the hose, and the system is vacuumed down and it's ready to be filled.